Next comes the point of no return. For this next area, if you go into here, you won't be able to come back until you complete the rest of the storyline. However, since this is an Elder Scrolls game, after you do complete the storyline, you'll be able to continue on with whatever you are doing. Now it's time to head to Skaldafin. You'll leave your companion behind, so you must be prepared to take care of yourself. Make sure you have strong armor, strong weapon, and good spells. If you're missing anything, go ahead and shop around one last time. Head to the Mage's Guild to buy any spells you're missing. Head back to Whiterun and the Merchant Shops to buy whatever you need. Even if you're kind of a low level, you shouldn't have too much problems. Around level 16 is a good time to come to this last area. Within Skuldafin, there'll be a lot of undead and a lot of dragons. In fact, you'll be fighting many dragons at the same time. The best strategy is to always use Dragon Rend when it's available. This will force the dragons to land, making it easier to beat them down. As for the Draugr enemies, use Turn Undead if it's strong enough. It will cause them to run away, and they won't be much of a problem. However, when they do attack you with their great swords and axes, put up your shield and block each of the attacks. You should have a good strong shield by now, which will help defend against these heavy blows. Eventually you'll enter inside the keep, where many puzzles await. You should look at each of the panels that are laid around the dungeon to figure out how to solve them. For example, you might see a serpent on one side and a bird on the other. This might seem a little confusing, but flip around to the other side of the puzzle. What you can see, you will have to place two birds on each side, and then either a bird in the center, or a snake in the center to open either of the doors. In some situations, it's even more clear what the solution to these puzzles are. In some cases, the markers are right above the stone you'll need to turn. Eventually you reach the top, you have to fight a couple more undead. The portal to Sovngarde is just a little bit away. However, there's one last undead enemy. The Nacron stands in your way. However, a helpful strategy is to just glitch him out. The Nacron moves slowly and won't attack you until it gets its magic staff. You can rush him by sprinting and then just simply stand in front of him. This will cause the Nacron to never attack. It's simply programmed to keep going forward and try and grab its staff. But since you're standing in the way, just beat him up. He won't even try and counter you. Be sure to loot his body, because the mask he wears is one of the best heavy armors used for a magic caster. If the Nacron did manage to get the staff, he will become a powerful caster, using electricity, ice, and even summoning. In this case, we prefer to beat him down quickly. It was too unreliable to use magic at this point, because his electricity would drain it way too quickly. If the Nacron did grab the staff, go ahead and loot it off its body. In some cases, he might have fallen off the building completely, and you'll have to trek back down to pick it up. Either way, once you have the staff in your possession, Take it back to the portal and place it down. For more hints and strategies, check out our Elder Scrolls V Skyrim walkthrough.